Hey, Ross, where my money makes money. Oh, this ain't baseball season. It don't even match. Hold on, let me change the hats. There we go. My money makes money. So SPDRs. Now, these are ETFs that the Street Global Advisor Group made or developed back in 1993. And it first was released on AMEX. What is AMEX? That is the American Stock Exchange, okay? So anyway, these are ETFs that was developed by them. You're gonna hear me refer to them as spiders. So first, I'm just gonna grab my laptop. I'm gonna hold it up here. Maybe a little difficult, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to read right from their website about ETS and what they actually think. So that is one reference. And then the other reference, what I'll be looking down, came from Investopedia. So the State Street Global Advisor, this is what they have to say about ETFs and about these SPDRs, which in turns, when you put SPDR together with ETFs, they just call them spiders, okay? ETFs provide investors with the flexibility to select investment that are precisely assigned to their investment strategy as an industry pioneer. State Street Global Advisors created the first U.S. listed ETF in 1993. They were the first for the U.S. Since then, each new member of the SPDR ETF family has been built to reflect our intimate knowledge of the ETF market. Why am I telling you this? Let's get right down to it. Diversification, so I'm gonna put this away. Diversification, now granted, that's one source, but here's another source. I really like Investopedia. They give you the nuts and the bolts right down to the nitty gritty of things. So what do the SPDRs basically do? They track the S&P, the Standard & Poor 500 index. That's basically what it does. Now granted, the reason why I keep giving you these tools, I keep giving this information, is for one reason, and one reason only, diversification of your financial portfolio. There's so many ways in the United States of America to invest. There's so many ways in the world to invest. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. First and foremost, you know I don't even like mutual funds because they're actively managed and they charge you fees, broker, commissions, etc. So index funds and ETFs are a really low cost way to invest your money and get a steady return of about 7%. That's been the, the average since their inception. So here's the thing. If you just do stocks, you're going to lose. If you just do bonds, you're not going to make a lot of money. If you don't do annuities, if you don't do HSA, those health savings accounts, these are all different ways to make money. See, you're trying to really figure out there's so much money to be made, why aren't you making it? You need to make the first step. That is actually invest in something other than yourself, right? You're always buying yourself stuff, nice clothes, whatever. Invest in your future. Okay, yeah, 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 we know that tomorrow ain't promised, whatever. But yeah, right now we're talking about SPDRs. And if you wanna know what SPDR is, you have to tell you go research it, but it means the standard and poor depository receipt okay these are ETS guys and if you look at their website some of their websites may have global the other one may have US this was the first company State Street Global to make the first US listed ETF so they have a track record their assets are in the trillions just as Vanguard just as BlackRock okay we talk about all these companies now BlackRock if you're not familiar with them they are the group behind iShares, okay? Then Vanguard are behind Vanguard. You have Vanguard Index and ETFs. You have BlackRock iShares. Then you also have SPDR or AKA Spider US listed first in 1993. Just a little more history thrown in there on the American Stock Exchange. So here are three major global platforms for your ETFs and or your index funds to diversify your money. Because right now, for the past two or three weeks, the stock market has been very bare, okay? You have a bull market where the stock market is charging and everything is going up 10%, 20%. Your portfolios are looking great. You're making all this great money. And then comes 
a market correction where it drizzled down a little bit, it decreases a little bit. But now for the past two or three weeks, we have been in a bear market. Some people say, hey, it's time for a recession. It's time for a depression within the stock market. It's time for the stock market to crash. Don't stop investing. Now, if you lose your job and other things occur because of the stock market and recession and depression, then that calls for some drastic changes. I understand. But if that's not going on in your life, when these stocks are losing all these points like Amazon went down, it's going to go back up. This is only a moment in time. This is only a moment in time. Stocks are on sale. And as Warren Buffett would say, this is when you buy. This is when you buy. Now, right now, they're still dropping. He may even wait. Yeah, yeah. He may even wait. He like, hmm, is it going to drop some more? Is it going to drop some more? Is it going to drop some more? Okay, I start seeing signs of it being corrected and going back up. Buy, 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 buy. Hold. Okay, now, if you already have stocks, if you already have ETFs, if you already have index, hold. This is not the time. Because if you do sell, you lost money. I promise you. Because you didn't buy it at the same price that you bought it at. You're not going to break even. You're going to lose some money. This is Ross World. SPDRs, aka spiders, the S&P Depository Receipt ETFs, the first U.S. listed ETF on the Amex, they have a history in the market. They have lineage in the market. And before I leave, I'll just read this and what Investopedia wrote about them. They said potential advantages and disadvantages. The potential advantages of spiders are numerous. Numerous, right? The advantages. They have the ability to match the performance of the index and while active managers, right, those mutual funds, rarely, rarely outperform an index, investing directly in a vehicle that tracks the performance of the index is an attractive option. Spiders also have the flexibility to give a depth of market exposure through one of the ETFs that tracks a broader index. Or diversify, king ding, 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 or diversify a portfolio by investing in one of the SPDRs that specializes in a sector or specific market capitalization of companies. Spiders will also have the flexibility to be used as hedging instruments, right? That insurance from your stock. They can be used as a hedging instrument. Well, Vanguard, BlackRock, they all will claim the same thing because when you're dealing with index, they have shown set of returns. This is Ross World. Spiders, SPDRs, ETFs, look into it. It's time to buy, guys. I'm out.